And I'm Bright Show. And today on The Answer, answer is, is A News, we will be discussing news, politics, and occasionally Stephen Park. Rarely. Today we have an on the spot reporter, Brian Zhang, interviewing the greaser named Steve. This is Brian for The Answer is A News. Tonight I'm here with one of the greasers known as Steve, who had just been in a rumble at its rival game, the Socius. Steve. Before we begin, I'm going to have to ask you to put out that cigarette, please. Thank you. Now, why are you guys rivals with the socialists? We're rivals. They started it. We were, we're just poor. We're just poor people. They attack us emotionally and physically. They attacked Pony Boy and they attacked Johnny. They jumped him. And now Johnny is scared senseless because jealousy. Okay, so where are these two now? Johnny and Ponyboy? I'm not sure where Ponyboy is, but I know Johnny's in the hospital because those darn socias. So why are you a greaser? Because I was raised in the hood. I was poor. We need to stick together to survive. Who won this rumble tonight? You should. You say? Greasers. And why? We have the power. The power of family. And the power of pride. Alright, so what causes this pride in you greasers? See, there's all the spirits in there. See, socials are spoiled, they're rich, they got everything they want, but they can't coexist. So you're saying that these two... If they are, let me think so much smarter. They can't coexist because they're too selfish. They want everything for themselves, so they go and attack people that have actually something to live for. They actually have a dream. There's us greasers. But they have nothing. They have everything they want. So they attack us. There's one more thing. How do you like that, huh? Huh? You know what? How do you like that? <laughs> Brian, such reporter. Now back to David and Bright, guys. Thank you, Brian. Today we would just like to remind our audience about the Windricksville. In Windricksville, there was a burning church. Um, two young greasers whose name is Pony Boy Curtis and Johnny, whose last name has not been identified, have saved a group of young, very young elementary school students from this blazing fire. Here's a clip. That was some amazing footage. Um, David? David? Uh, David? Imagine, invisible pill? Okay, David, who we all know likes to eat things, has... Hello? Yes, Mom. I have my underwear. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, we'll see it. Well, a reliable source, aka my mother, has just informed me that our tra a new movie has come out. The movie is called The Outsiders, based on the book The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. And it stars our good friends Ponyboy Curtis and Johnny Boy, whose last name we do not know. Clip, please. So just stop. Wasn't that a
a great trailer, David. Yep. Like I said, so now it's time for our monthly Word of the Week. It's awesome, and it's hosted by Joshua Wing. Clip? It's Josh with the Weird Word of the Week. Today's weird word is tough, spelled T-U-F-F, tough. Not T-O-U-G-H, tough, but T-U-F-F, tough. Tough means cool or sharp, like a tough car or tough glasses. Elvis Presley is tough. Mustangs are tough. Rumbles are tough. Sigs are tough. And you know what's not tough? Soches. Now back to David and Bray. What a tough word. Well, now I'd like to thank the audience for joining us on The Answer is A News as we close another successful episode. So remember, on The Answer is A News, we discuss news, politics, and occasionally Stephen Park. Bye. What's bad for you?